greatness within us is the greatest gift we have to offer the world and that when we recognize it in ourselves and in one another, we can unite and make a difference in our communities and around the world. Something have years, I go forward, spread snippets, spread swimming. About three and four years ago, I was alone and left out with no friends at all. I see other people doing um, stuff with them and stuff me, and they said, you know, I was in Ethiopia to leave. 
but in this end, only six can defend soccer. Instead of that, why not the kids with or without and still the other teams, which I have that, and why not instead, and I just want to be, uh, feel equal and fair with them as well. I just, just want to be the uh, same team, and then to have that. Then to have that spread in the world and the work of pain, and it's annoying to me. And with now, um, in my high school, which I move on, I feel all golden, all happy again, with more awesome friends, with national and state jack, more awesome friends. Hey, Timmy. <laughs> yeah, so Kavir's story started out where he, in middle school, it sounds like, right? Yep. He wasn't included, but he had unified soccer, and that was kind of his catalyst for involvement. And mine was kind of similar, like, elementary school, I was pretty left out, too. Oh. But my brother had an intellectual disability, and I saw him having the time of his life in Special Olympics, and his coach contacted me and said, hey, we're looking for unified partners, and that's where I found my home as well, and made friends and joined the National Yak with Kabir. My too. Yeah, my so too. our stories kind of started out similar. He did soccer, I did tennis, but it's a great way to form friendships, and it seems like we both got a really good friendship going on, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I got nominated for Palm King on my senior year, and people nominated me, and which was really excited, and I was like, wow. It's just like, everyone just cared about me and wanted me to get that. It's funny because like that school, nobody would have to step up to be the one because everybody would already be at that level. So people would be the one for each other, but it would all just be a community. Nobody would ever have to have somebody step in and give them a high five. Nobody would ever be walking to class alone. And just that kind of like utopian school society, while we don't really see it today, it's there and the potential is so there and we're just trying to get it to that point. Showing respect is my big one. Respecting others with and without intellectual disabilities. And I just want to have respect in my school. I personally think that it does only take one person because as a National YAC member, it took one person to start the movement of Special Olympics. I mean, it was Eunice Kennedy Shriver and fulfilling that journey together for one state. I mean, it's technically two people, but there's one partner and one athlete which connect both sides. Like, I'm not in the special ed classrooms most of the time, but Kabir is, and he can bring in the input of other athletes, and I can bring in general students. It's one person to start a movement of inclusion, like an inclusion revolution. Just hanging out with the athletes and having a genuine friendship with authentic people is something that I've never experienced in my life until I joined Special Olympics. Being with each other in person and, you know, leading together and starting the inclusion revolution is something that isn't volunteering to us, it's more like a lifestyle, okay. right? Like just that one high five, that handshake, that walking to a class with the kids you normally wouldn't can have a profound impact on everybody's lives. It can change the culture of your school. It's just that one little like moment can trigger like a huge series of events that ultimately ends up changing the world. Special Olympics Project Unify. Special Olympics Project Unify uses sports and education programs of Special Olympics to activate young people to develop school communities where all youth are agents of change, fostering respect, dignity, and advocacy for people with intellectual disabilities. Unified Sports. Special Olympics Unified Sports is an inclusive sports program that combines an approximately equal number of Special Olympics athletes, individuals with intellectual disabilities, and partners, individuals without intellectual disabilities, on teams for training and competition. Spread the Word Campaign. The Spread the Word Campaign asks people to pledge to stop saying the R word, retard or retarded, as a starting point towards creating more accepting attitudes and communities for all people. Youth Activation Committee, or YAC. 
A YAC is a group of young people who work together to promote school communities where all people are agents of change. YAC members counsel on strategies designed to reach other youth, promote Special Olympics activities in their home environments, and communicate the initiatives of Special Olympics Project Unified.